Hi, and welcome to my deep dive relating astrology to the tarot. We are on to the lover's card. Again, everything in the tarot, major arcana following the fool is about his journey. Also, it's about balancing some aspect of our life. Very similar to the empress and the emperor, which are together about balancing feminine and masculine energies, but as it relates to manifestation. This card is about balancing feminine and masculine energies as it relates to love, whether that is self-love, turning inward and learning to balance the t um, sides of ourselves, or whether that's relational or romantic love. So very much about finding that balance between self-love and love of others. Understanding and finding the boundary of where I begin and another ends. Learning where we fit in the scope of existence with the oneness of everything and yet understanding how we are unique and individual. Even though we're a part of a whole and we are all one, we are also separate. It's also about the duality of our reality. Understanding that duality, being accepting of that duality, and then learning how to integrate and create a singularity. And that singularity helps us flow with our purpose and with the movements of the cosmos. Astrologically speaking, the lovers represents Gemini in the zodiac. Gemini is the most polarized sign out of all of them. They are known as the twins. Many people describe Geminis as having multiple personalities. As a rising sign, it shows up more as multiple interests, multi-passionate. By and large, the wind signs don't want to be pigeonholed into any one way of being or thinking, but they all manifest this in their lives in different ways. Gemini wants to learn in order to do. They tend to have multiple talents and be a jack of all trades, but they also want to dive deep and understand on a deeper level. This is why at times they can seem bipolar because their emotions tend to be extremely fleeting and they jump between different emotions very quickly. Their challenge is to see the bigger picture. When you zoom into the pattern, it seems like chaos, and Gemini very much is a chaotic sign. But when you zoom out, you understand how that chaos fits within perfect order. It's a marriage of the self. Within the symbology of the sign, we have the tree of knowledge of good and evil back here. Alongside the tree of life, we have Adam and Eve. And we have the snake, which sometimes, to some, represent that kundalini energy. To me, the trees very much represent a marriage between our divinity and our humanity. Our limitedness of our body versus the unlimitedness of our spirit. 